guys, we're on to another exciting episode of your number one urban breakfast show, The Core. My name is Faye, and definitely for those wondering and thinking, what does The Core mean? What is this all about? It's definitely where we bring out celebrities and guests to get to dissect issues for us right on this set. Issues that have to do with the hats, with the economy, a lot of things are definitely happening. Yeah, I know in Nigeria, the president is not back, and a lot of things have definitely dampened in the economy, but we are suffering and smiling at the same time. I hope things get better. Not about Nigeria today, but definitely about entertainment and um, a celebration of an, of, an, of an icon. I could actually call him an icon in the industry. So guys, um, definitely today we are talking about, you know, the struggles of upcoming artists in Nigeria, the struggles that they face. And definitely this is one person that I know will be able to dissect and talk about it for two hours, three hours, and maybe till eternity. You just never know. But guys, we're going on a short one right now. When we return, the discussion actually kicks up. Don't go nowhere. But before then, let's know who our guest is. We'll be right back. Efrain Babado, better known by his stage name Junior Boy, is a singer-songwriter. Born and bred in Ibutemeta area of Lagos, the Rapata Kruna had his early education in Ibutemeta, but later went on to complete secondary school in Agege, Lagos. His hit single, Irakpada, which featured Nice, was inspired by God, he says, as the word itself means transformation. As an independent artist, Junior Boy admits his journey into music has been great so far, but he would love to work with Whisked, Davido, Olamide, Reminis, and Wandeko in the near future. Ladies and gentlemen, Junior Boy. Um, well, first of all, there's a challenge of that one hits one that you know they will produce one particular song that will just that will sell and then it will blow and then after that any other song or whatever or they just disappear totally well, basically i think uh, the major challenge they are facing currently i think it's a dirt of talent because everybody feels they can go commercial and stuff like that without having the requisite talent for them to actually do the job as it were so first is first that's one of the cardinal cardinal points i think there's this there's a challenge of having to meet up with a particular having to meet up with a particular um with a particular standard that they set with their first music or with the second music or with the third music the secondly there are so many politics you know man no man you know this nigerian stuff like that so you actually need to know someone before you can actually have a footing for example before you can actually have your music to be paired or aired on the uh, radio airways you need to know someone to actually push it for you that's another thing so um yeah i think a depth of talent that's one thing um uh, politics uh bureaucracy and red tape that's another thing me i don't know but it has one meaning i can't say it Feel free now. No one, no, there's no police here, so feel free. <laughs> That's exactly what I want to find out. <laughs> what do you guys have on that? It's banana now. <laughs> Hello. How about you? I didn't hear herself. She said it and she walked away. No, I didn't know. Yeah, I don't understand what you're saying. Seriously, I don't understand what you're saying. I only talk once, I don't talk twice. What's that? What do we have on that? Yes, no. That way, I don't get. What do you guys used to do? Like they used to say, I go do you shuku shuku. Oh, eh, hey, that's the meaning. Banana to me, I think he's talking about the d and all that. Yeah. Do what? D And our guest today, guys, is the Moyo Moyo Kruna. I didn't want to shout too much about it because when you hear such words, it has to be said in a very subtle tone. But, um, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have with us Junior Boy. You kind of look like those boys, eh? So, like, I'm the boys. Sugar. Oh, Ancestor. Hey. Yeah. Say something, say something, say something for the call. Hell us, hell us, hell us. Hello, hello, my people. Mm -hmm. I go by the name Junior Boy, aka Junior Boy. Girl, damn sugar. 
Don't do it. You're right here. You're here to make it better. Yes, so he said it. So, Junior Boy, great to have you here. You're popping all blings on your shoes. Your, your, you know, probably one. I mean, let me just wear one. Irakwada. Yes, so transformation, renovation, all the way. So, definitely, they were talking about the struggles of upcoming artists. But before we get into that, um, the name Junior Boy, how did it come about? Yeah. Junior and then boy. The You're a boy. Junior Boy. Uh, my, my name is. My names are um, Ephraim Oladi Junior. Okay. Ephraim Oladi Junior. So, so the kind, kind of style I do, the kind of music I do, I can't just call myself Oladi. I don't call myself Ephraim. You think your name is not, it's not, it doesn't yeah. have that, you know? Yeah, I don't have that ginger. Mm -hmm. Like Junior so Boy. I don't, so I, don't, I don't need to fake it. Yeah. I don't need to go and look for name. I don't have. I just have to. Yeah. 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 Junior. I started with Junior. Okay. Junior, Junior, Junior. And the first time calling me Junior Boy. Oh. Junior Boy. So I was like, Junior Boy, when am I going to do something? And junior then you just, you just took it. Oh so that is it. <laughs> and it's been okay. going very, very well for, for you. Very, very well. So describe your, your music. What is your sound like? What is your music like? The kind of music I do, I do Afro, hip hop, and dance. So I do more than like this song. Like, when you say reality song, what does that mean? A reality song is like, okay, if I want to talk about my girlfriend. Do you have a girlfriend? No, no let, let me learn now. Let me learn. Let's just ask. No, like, she doesn't mention any. Let's just ask. Before we forget. Like, okay, like if I want to talk about. Like, if I want to talk about. Continue, your girlfriend is fine. If I want to talk about a girl now. Your like, girlfriend? If I want to talk about you. You don't know me. You can't talk about me. If I want to talk about a girl now. Like, okay. I don't need to, like. So if you're supposed to talk about a girl, let's say how how would you just the regular like like the girl in front of you right now? If you have to talk about her, not me, the one by the side. Yeah, that girl. Okay, okay, okay. What would you say let about me, her? Let me let me go like this. Yes. Yeah, of course you can. Let me go like this. Maybe the girls, like a lot of people are talking about about me. Okay. Like, okay, telling the girl trash. Like, a bad boy and all that. Do this, do this. Okay, I can go like this. Baby, they just want to talk. When this is just going to talk. They just want to judge you. You don't ask me why it's going to talk. Mm -hmm. so you can me the chalk. Okay. What have you can never clean up? Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm still in love. Oh. Ah, he's still I in love with you. I love you. Hey! Like, listen, listen to that. Yes, line. yes. That definitely connects you with that yeah. girl a lot. All right. So, so it's so not just an ordinary song. It has a meaning to it. It's you have me. So it has the kind of style I do. Okay, that's great. So let's talk about the struggles of a. We'll, we'll still come back to. Junior boy as an artist. We'll definitely even be looking at Ansu Junior boy you know, as an artist. And lately, what has the struggle been like? Music. Was it from childhood? Because you grew up in Ibutemetan, you know. No, no, no. I'm a footballer. Oh. Professional footballer. Okay. You play for what club? I play for Union Bank Football Club, Bridge FC. I started with <laughs> football, basically, but I love music. Okay. I love music. I've been, I've been, uh, I've been rolling with some artists. Mm. I don't know, maybe you know, Z World, R.I.P. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Like yeah. I've been with Lace. I've been with you know, artists. Then I'm not singing them. I just love music. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I can do, I can do music. Okay, just for fun, I can play football. Yeah, do and music by the side. From training. Studio, mm -hmm. you, know, mm -hmm. you merged yeah. everything. So I was just doing the music for fun then. Yeah, it was when we went for a break last year. I came into the music fully. fully. I've been dropping song freestyle. When then. when did that start for for you? Like yeah. around what age? Were you a teenager? Yeah. Were you 2010? Wow, 2010. wow, this is 2017. Like, I've been doing it freestyle. Mm -hmm. I've been mm -hmm. playing. Mm -hmm. I, okay, I, people don't call me artist to a day. <laughs> I just they do. Why you got for your hand? <laughs> I just they do songs. Yeah. yeah. Like, um, mm -hmm. people don't call me artist. Mm -hmm. I don't go to shows. I don't go to. Oh, yeah. a lot of people used to tell me that. Mm -hmm. 
pose, your dough, mm -hmm. your dough. I beg, come inside this game, maybe mm. you start with the runner. Fully, yeah. professionally. Yeah, no, I'm a footballer, please. Mm. I don't want anything to distract me mm -hmm. from the football. Yeah. So, unfortunately, last year, we just we went for a short break. Yeah. Like, okay, it's July. Okay. July, end of July. So, I was like, okay, let me just try and do something. Let me try and draw something. Okay. Uh, and I have original version of Prina Pada. Yes, sir. Which I did. Rapada Krona, I forgot to mention that, sir. Which I did myself. <laughs> I have original yeah. version of Rapada. So, I just call up my my friend. My, let me, he's my friend, he's my manager. Okay. So I, I, I call him and say, bro, how can we just, just drop something like maybe just yeah people. blow people away and people and people accept definitely accepted it and then when it comes to rapada let me ask how was it like getting nice on that track because for artists who are coming up i just want to venture into music to get someone like nice on your track ha, it takes a lot of yeah, like I said, a lot yeah, of god like so I how, did, how did it work for you were you rolling with nice before no, no, no. i have a lot of people that come out with nice okay so was like when I was recording that song, I was thinking how many men, because it sounds like they sound like nice. Aww. And I would like to put nice for this song. I was telling my producer. Yeah. He said, you know, you have people that can contact. But you're yeah, Maya. It's so too. Maya, Maya. Go on. Maya, not Maya. Maya, Sabi. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure it's that? So I just. <laughs> We're coming back to that too. Like, I have one brother like this. Very very close to me. Yeah. Our love. Okay. Which is my, it's more like my channel. Okay. So I come and say, Baba, this song will blow. Baba, if you put nice on top of this song, it will oh, blow. Oh, blow. Okay, so we have a hit. Then we call Vale. Okay, Vale. I found out, Baba. I feel like me, one of my boys, mm. which is from one of his tracks. I like the way they train So the man said, Which of the, the boys? Boy, right? Yeah. Say, Do you know Vale? Really? And that was it. Wow, wow. I mean, we don't start. Yes, sir. <laughs> so we've had stuff like from um, um, the Irapada definitely came up. I also did something with, um, with Orisha Femi mm -hmm. and the likes, and it's also been featured on tracks from people. Now, as an upcoming artist, what to you are the basic things that you need to know or you need to have? to sustain yourself in the music industry because mm -hmm. with the competition and everything going on what mm -hmm. should you have yeah, if you have talent you don't have money you, know, you, have to money. you need I to need, have money i need a lot of good money you have everything there's talent you, know? you have good producers you don't need money so much. but you need that money if you don't have that money to shoot a lot of video you know, i'm becoming you know, an artist how do you get the money it's like people are venturing into music because of money. So for you to now say you must have money, where do you get the money from? Mm -hmm. Is this scam? Do you have to now start doing the other? It's scam. You just have to pray to God. Mm. So maybe, maybe you need someone that will support you. You have to pray to God. Okay, well, no, Joe, I beg go. I need a person to help me. I beg God. You need help. Mm. Anything you need is a good, a good management that has money that can support you. They have no doubt about you. Anything you do, they are ready to support you. Okay. That's it. So three things. Just tell us. You said talent, a good management, and then you have to pray to God. Yeah. All right, guys. Definitely heard it. Talent, good management, and you have to pray. No scam, yeah. no theft, no credit card, no forgery, nothing yeah. at all. Just pray to Baba God, and you definitely lead the way. He has definitely shown us that that's that's what works. You pray to Baba mm -hmm. God, and you're here in Rakwada. Yeah, yes, works. so it works. Works a lot. Yeah, works. I have to moyo moyo. So, guys, we'll go on a very short one right now, and then when we return, the call continues with the Kruna Junior Boy. We're going on a game show pretty soon, so keep it locked. We'll be right back, guys. It's very hot by the way, so one, two, three. Then. 
Hmm. We've got the urban realize and we bring everything to your table to keep you glued to your devices. So guys, on another episode of Fit Farm Kitchen, just you know, don't go nowhere, just keep it locked. Bye guys. And we're moving on to the Magnet Game Show with Moyo Moyo Junior Boy. Are we ready? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I like that <laughs> voice. All right, it's three, two, one, and action, Malaysia. Country. Wire, wire. Ah, I see. Akube. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> that? Akube. T shirt. <laughs> South <D. laughs> What? Chache. 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 Mm -hmm. Work. Lai Mohammed. Leader. Small doctor. Ah, street ambassador. Congraso. Heat. Bukola Saraki. Ah, excellency. Sound from the other side. Whiskey. No. 30 billion tour. Ah, ah, Divido. Ibu Temeta. Ah, ah. Where I come from? Alago Meji. Ah, inside the video. Ghetto. 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 I get Dino. Funke. Funke. Yes, sir. What is my sister name with that? <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> Whiskey star boy. God's ambassador. Police is your friend. Police is your friend. Um, you don't know. Yeah. Bail is free. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're helping me now. I can't. Ah, help you, okay. Maya, Maya. You have to know people don't know. <laughs> Police is your friend. <laughs> Police is my friend. Yes. God's ambassador. Bail is free. <sighs> Hush puppy. Gushi. <laughs> Gow them sugar. Junior boy. Wave boy. Rapada. Runs girls. Ah, I don't know. And I'm going to end this with strippers. <laughs> strippers. Mm. <laughs> Do you know why they touch but you when I mention strippers? Ah. <laughs> All right, guys. So ah. definitely. <laughs> An answer really let's just round it up on that so strippers you don't have a word for strippers what do you think about strippers i, I can't say it really. <laughs> okay we'll leave that thought guys but we'll go on another short one right now and then when we return we'll still be talking about the struggles of upcoming artists in nigeria basically guys keep it locked we'll be right back boy and boy you know what you say right here Okay, guys, we are back on the call, your number one urban breakfast show. And um, yes, Junior Boy did well. Moya Moya on the Magnet Game Show. I don't know why I love that word, but guys, you can hear any more of it. Moya Moya. Ah, oh. Moya Moya. Moya, no. Moya Moya. Moya Moya. Moya Moya. But we're moving on to the, we're still talking about the struggles that upcoming artists face. Yeah. Now, um, I know that one thing that people always complain is when they venture into music, you have that big glow, you have money, and then suddenly you just you lose your creativity. You just don't know, you know, what steps to take again. Maybe you release a song and people are not accepting it as, as usual. And then you see other people venturing into theft, you know, credit card forgery and the like. Now, at that point where you do a song and then you don't make it again, what should be um, that thing you should do that will make you relevant in the industry? Yeah, man, you just, you just need to keep giving them that style you came out with. Even when that style is not working anymore. Even when it's not working again. You came out with it. So you don't have to come with it too. Even though you want to switch, you want to feature techno on your style, you make sure you do more of your style and techno style. Up to 70% of your style, 30% of techno style. Mm -hmm. You don't need to change your style. Because God is not sleeping. Now God gives you that heat. But so, looking at the music industry, you know sounds change. Yeah. The fans want something. Now they may be wanting R and B. Next time they may be wanting Afro pop. They, 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 they might want you to give it. Boop, 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 boop. What's going on? Where are you? Take it. That's it, Billy. I'm ready. I can't take uh, boop, boop. All those boop, kind of style. Yeah. yeah, if you want to do that style, you can. That's the trend now. Yeah. If you want to do it, you have to just. You have to just. Um, that that style you came out with. You have to put it on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you make people know that okay, this is not your kind of beats. But How do you make money then? 
If you know what you're doing, if you know if you know what your people want, you have your own fans. You have, you have a fan base. Yeah. yeah so you and know then I'll work doing. for you. It work for you. Okay. It's so as soon as I don't know, maybe I'm I'm seeing it from my from the yeah. the angle I'm seeing it from. You know, seeing it from. Mm. I believe myself that okay, my fans out there. Anything I'm giving them. Do you know boy gives us tracks that make us want to boogie and Nigerians want to dance. Nigerians like, you know, but as an artist who likes, you know, your lovey dovey and the likes and I like. I have a lot of song. I have, I have a lot of different style. I have, yeah. I can do uh, I can do a I can do I can do dance so I can do up there's no style I cannot do. Okay. Not because, not uh, that I'm dragging or anything. So You're when, just good like that. No? I'm just That's I'm just good. I have my style. Yeah. And I want people to know and people are like getting used to it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, like lay your wall in your if you put Junior <laughs> inside this kind of song, it's yeah, yeah, that yeah. is that is that is why I want that is what I want people to know me for. Okay, okay. So yeah. definitely leave a legacy. Now looking at the entertainment industry again, beef is one thing that comes to mind. As an artist, whether upcoming or not, how do you get to handle beef? in the Nigerian musical scene or entertainment scene basically. And have you ever been involved with anyone, any beef mm -hmm. with anyone? How were mm -hmm. you able to Yeah, basically I'm a young boy. I'm a young boy. I'm just coming up. So I don't think that would work for me now. Having beef with anybody. I want to just be around everybody, play around with everybody. Mm -hmm. I don't think I am beef is no part of the game. It's not part of the plan now for me. But for those who are involved in beef yeah, if it is working for them, they should come to you. It's part of the industry for you, basically. No, 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 no. it inspires some people, but no. I'm not interested. Inspires them in what kind of way, please? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah. right. So your sound, Junior Boy, do you think it's just basically for the street? Or yeah. it has to do with, you know, everybody. majority? Everybody, everybody can just speak. Because some people actually feel like, you know, it's no, the street no, no, kind no, of no. song. That that was, when we when we started it, when we started it, that was what, People on the island that was what they were doing before. And it's still it's, it's still they are still doing it though. That uh, okay, artists on the mainland and artists on the island, they are, are different. Of course, even the flood, we've been having battles yeah. of mainland and highland with it. They are, <laughs> that they are, like they are different. So me, the kind of song I do, I make sure it's connected with people that have money, people that doesn't have money, good friends, no friends, even if far then. Mm. I used to perform at the church, mosque, everywhere. Mm. Even the Ramadan, we just go now. You, you know prefer the Ramadan. And then you just collected all the money, and then no, you no, no, just no, no, came no, no, here no, no, today. No, no. You don't bring no, anything. Royalty. Ah, royalty, royalty kidney, me, boy. No, collect money for church, man. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a thing for you when you're performing. You don't pay money. You don't call it money. Why? I do. But no. I no, you're not, supposed to say not, that. Not like okay, you want to go to. Not like big money. Um, um, this place now, MFM or something. It's a privilege. Even if they call you to come and perform at the church, okay, you know, you could uh, you tell God that okay, this kind of song I'm doing, at yeah. least they can listen to it inside the church. It's it's a it's a good thing. Okay, so aside from all this that you have been doing, who is Junior Boy apart from all this, apart from music and football? What does Junior Boy um still do? What are the things we don't know about Junior Boy as an artist? Yeah. If Junior Boy is Junior Boy. Ah, you're yeah. asking Junior Boy who Junior, Junior Boy is? Junior Boy is just a cool cat. Like, a normal, cool cat? A normal, a normal boy. Okay. You can just walk up to it that, okay, what's up, nigga? I want to put you on the ground. How much am I going to pay? I'll tell you, okay, you're going into a free. I don't, I, I, I don't, when you know they do my, my first this thing is on the You know, there's a real boy. You're sure about that? Money yeah. is not your thing. It's no, it's no, it, money is not the first thing. What's the first um, thing? <laughs> money is what thing? The second yeah. thing? Uh, do you I'm know real, I'm real, I'm real, I'm real, I'm real. <laughs> Talk! What's the first thing? Talent is the first thing for you, right? And then money now comes out. Uh, cut that things. All right, guys, so we're still talking about the struggles of upcoming artists in Nigeria. Now, Junior Boy, um, 
as an artist, I know that up upcoming artists basically always like to look forward to working with this person and that person in, mm. in, the, in, in the music industry. As an artist, who do you want to work with in Nigeria and internationally? Because there's always this thought of if you feature somebody like this, you blow automatically. Mm -hmm. So, for mm. you, and is that thought um, is it is it is it true? If you feature somebody like Chris Brown on your track, like it's automatically it's already a blow. Does it always apply? Is you it true? Do yourself a blow. You're always mentioning God, but reality, yeah. man. I got a blow so good. Maybe, maybe it's not by you featuring one artist or this. God, it's God. If God said yes, yes. Man. Exactly. But I would love to, Nigerian artists, I would love to work with, like generally, I love good music. I love good artists. People are doing good music. Like Whiskey now, one of the best artists. No, not one of the best. Yes. Number best. one artist in Africa. You're my best friend already, trust me. Yeah, I love to work with whiskey, <laughs> wonderful flavor, people mm -hmm. that have their sound. The band. Davido. <laughs> nice. I love to work with nice like five times. Wow, that's yeah. great. And then internationally. Internationally, Justin Bieber, DJ Kali. Mm. DJ Kali. Say, say, that. No, 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 say that, say that again. DJ Khaled. Yeah, more like it. All right. Yeah, I love so to work with Rihanna. I love to work with Rihanna. What do you think about Rihanna right now? You know, she's put on some weight. Yeah, I love to work with Rihanna. <laughs> like, no, like no, no, but what do you like? No, no, but to be honest, you know, she's put on some weight. Have you seen her recent picture? I don't know about her weight or something, but Rihanna is good. You want to work with Rihanna? I don't know about her this thing. Don't know about ah, you have to know about it, so you know, but that's kind of thing that make your music glow. Sexy mm -hmm. girl, man. I love, I love Rihanna's voice. <laughs> I love her voice. So much. You don't love her body. <laughs> no, that was by the wayside. So, you know, but are you single? Are you single or? Yeah, I'm still on the street, man. And single and searching up. <laughs> you know, my door. I got to that you're like, you know, are you single? Yes, I'm single. Yes. Searching. Not, not, no, no, no. 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 Okay. I'm still, I'm still facing my music now, so I don't, <laughs> need, I, need, I don't need any distraction. Upcoming know. artists, face your music squarely. You don't yeah. need any distraction. At all, at Junior all. Boy has if you want to grow, it. man. Uh, go on now. If you want to grow, face your music. Face face that thing, not face woman for now. <laughs> woman will come if money comes. Oh, you did just say that. Junior Boy, take us on the break. All right, so uh, take us on the break right now. How many get them sugar? Where we coming back, man? Keep it locked, guys. We'll be right back. Um. Well, first of all, there's a challenge of that one hits one that you know they will produce one particular song that will just that will sell and then it will blow and then after that any other song or whatever or they just disappear totally. Well, basically, I think. Uh, the major challenge they are facing currently, I think, is the dirt of talent because everybody feels they can go commercial and stuff like that without having the requisite talent for them to actually do the job, as it were. So, first is first, that's one of the cardinal, cardinal points, I think. There's this, there's this challenge of having to meet up with a particular, having to pre meet up with a particular, um, with the particular standard that they set with their first music or with the second music or with the third music. The secondly, there are so many politics, you know, man, no man, you know, this Nigerian stuff like that. So you actually need to know someone before you can actually have a footing. For example, before you can actually have your music to be paired or aired on the uh, radio airways, you need to know someone to actually push it for you. That's another thing. So, um, yeah, I think a depth of talent, that's one thing. Um, uh, politics, uh, bureaucracy and red tape. That's another thing. To me, I would actually say guys are actually more secretive. Ladies are more secretive than men. Ladies definitely. Men are more secretive than a lady. Men, guys are open books. You know, they're more open with their guys, but then they're more secretive with the opposite sex. As a guy, and that guy, I tell my friend, okay, ah, guy, I don't bang this bitch before. The other guy was like, ah, I don't bang the bitch before, they're just laughing over drinks. Okay, but when, okay, you tell, ah, I fucked your boyfriend, you fucked my boyfriend, you start fighting. Yeah, especially when you get to press our mumu button, like it's called, you will actually get anything and everything out of us. When I would like to tell my secret to a guy than a lady. <laughs> one of my
my favorite part of uh, this um, this program, the call. The cookie chat segment is about to start, guys. And junior boy, let's go start. Roll. Okay, it's not long, so I'm going to say roll. Wait, and let's go. In three, two, one, it's going to pick these papers, and if you can't provide an answer, you all know what it's going to do. The cookie is in the mouth, and while it's doing, it picks another one and reaches out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Your time starts now. It is your last most embarrassing Google search. Okay. Last most embarrassing Google search. So what did you search last on Google? <sighs> so ah, uh, so what did you give you a look there? <laughs> hey, it's not horrible. You have to see it. Do you know what? Yeah. Ah, 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 you can't remember two cookies. It's fine. No, two. You have. You have. If, if you can't provide an answer, two cookies in your mouth. Oh wait. Two cookies. Two cookies. Two. Same time. And then yeah, you pick another uh, one. Ah. Uh -huh. Me. <laughs> I dare you read. Ah, first. This has never happened. First question. You cannot provide an answer. This has never happened. You have to read now. Ever. Ever had a word of mouth function? Ever had a word of mouth function? Yeah? Me? No, every time your word of is. Yeah, uh, Bado. Hmm. All right, pick another one. <laughs> Girls, we always have a word of mouth function. Does that happen? Uh, <laughs> one. No, no, ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, it uh, was with cookie. Uh, so is that sweet? <laughs> they read this out. What you really like to play when you teach? Why? Yes, they are. Why they are? Twenty seventeen. What happened in twenty seventeen? Twenty seventeen was a good thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think there was a specific thing that happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, my, my, my. Like <laughs> my first video, twenty seventeen. Yeah, my best single, twenty seventeen. Ever been kissed in the rain? Ah ah. Yeah, bad job. Kissed. Eh. You don't have a girlfriend. So you, have been you don't need to have a girlfriend. Sometimes you just kiss that one guy or that one girl in the rain. So today, why have you ever kissed a girl in the rain? I haven't. Okay. Ah no. ah, people. You have to kiss in the rain. No. You should try it though. No. But seriously, honestly, you should try it. Um. Another paper. Let's see. I'm not a cookie. Oh. This is the most punishment scared life out of you. Out of you. Mm -hmm. I've tried it. Dad. What kind of punishment you give you? Dad, you give me. You need to shout with you. What kind of oh, man. Ah. She's going to come and kill my kid. You'll be crying like I see the baby. Your mommy is coming. Bah, bah, bah. What else can I say? I love it! But that, that is very, very, very. You never use both of it. No, we pass this, baby. Alright. Well, you're great now, and I'm so proud of you. Yeah, man. Another yeah. paper. Ever been asleep? Food or sleep? Sleep. I don't really like. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really know. I don't really like. Food. Okay, great. Another one. I, I see how I don't relax. There are more cookies there. <laughs> Where is the strangest place you have ever related to? I have dedicated. Hmm. Hmm. The last time I was coming from Lagos, hmm. yeah, I ran into one bush of bus <laughs> at night. And my driver was telling me, Baba, you know, this one will they hold you like this. Eh? I just ran into that bush and do my normal shit. Ah, sorry, I sorry, I'm so grown. No, you just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Ever been conditioned food? What was that they call the game? Shout out to you. No, but seriously, you're actually very real. Shout out to you. For those who have done this one time in their lifetime, you know, shout out to you guys. Yeah, you I'm saying you don't do it to the car, you have to do it to the bush. And it's. <laughs> what are you thinking about this? It's not about 
Everybody just makes me say, guys, let's go on another break right now. When we return, we'll be talking about the now and then segment of this particular topic, guys. Keep it locked. Cool, but it's still right here. <laughs> And right now, moving on to the now and then segment of the struggles of coming out face in Nigeria. Now, I just think about stuff. Did we have a coming out back then? The likes of Oyeka Oweno um, and the likes of coming out how how many mm -hmm. were they yeah, then? You just know your generation, yeah, people. I'm, I'm, I'm a young boy. Hmm. I'm a young boy, so. I went to defecate inside I'm bush. A <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to make sure this thing I'm, I'm, a, I'm a young boy, so I don't really know most people like that. I only know some are doing hmm. the I think we had more of like the more adults then. We didn't have young people like music, you then yeah. doing music. What do you think was the cost then? Was it like people felt music was not meant for, you know? So yeah. that, that, uh, what really happened then is that everybody were not too, everybody were not too sure of what they, what had, they, wanted. What they wanted to do. So they, don't, they, they decided to leave everything for parents. Like, you know, all those, okay, now there's some people who do music, but they let them do let it. Them be doing it now, they need to do it. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's that's and they're looking at music right now. What do you think the growth has been like? You know, back then to now, the growth in the Nigerian you know, music. Out, you, know, you can tomorrow now you wake up and listen to the jam now. Who sings that song? When you boy from Kurugu. Mm -hmm. You know, people are working. Now. People like are you working. started from Ibutimeta, and then you're just you're just killing it. Do you know, boy just keeps killing it. We're, expect, we're expecting a, uh, a jam one sometime from me and the band. I'm really hammering on the band. I really ah, think that will blow a lot. I can't wait to hear my new jam coming up next year. Mm. Ah, 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 fire, she. Exclusive. Cool for style of. Ah, <laughs> we, sh we should hold ah, up for it, yeah. Fire. Okay, but still talking about the now and then segment of um, of, of the struggles of upcoming artists, basically. Um, I know that one thing that used to happen then with music was, you know, you had to, the content of music then had to be, you know, face your studies, if you learn it, go wait for it, and all that likes. And then right now we listen to Moyo Moyo and the likes. Um, what has changed? Is it more, is, is there a moral decadence? Like, people, people don't hold on to morals anymore. It's like, we just sing songs to dance to. We don't mm. look at the content or the lyrics. Yeah, of yeah the I, I, I said it. I said it too, like, okay, the kind of music I have tried to do, I'm trying to it's it's very very unusual like the kind of music i do i want to preach to people at the same time i want to dance but it's not just some people are doing right now like people just want like the crowd to dance they want to get known on like okay my I, i'm an artist yeah i just want you to know me you don't you don't, you don't know me with my song i just want people to know me i just want people to see me my music, my music is not like that the kind of music I do, like, okay, in the, in the 20 years, it's still here. It's still like very it's relevant. Very, 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 very still here, yeah. Mm. Keep clean on me. Like, if you listen to um, Sonny Adi, um, you ain't can't wait no one the like. Oh, it's, no, no. You still listen to their song. You still listen to, like, you still get some things there that, okay, yeah. I'm on my own trip and then they do music. Mm -hmm. Like, I was with, K1 on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, Sonia D and the um, Global Experience. Okay. Couples Night. Yeah. I was, I was Couples Night, that means you were with someone. No, 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 I went there to perform. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. We'll go check that. Was, yeah, I was asking my wife, like, okay, sir, in you, what is this? What is this? The song is, the song is dope. Man. The song we're expecting, yeah? No, no, no. Okay, no, the one. Yeah. Okay, right, yeah, fine. I was asking, like, okay, boss, I was about. When you guys are going to talk to the way I'm going to Ah, ah. Shout out K1. K1 has put a stamp on it. For K1 to be telling me, ah, your song is dope. So. It has finished. You know, you, you, you it has finished. K1, the ultimate. Guys, we go on another break and we get to know your man crush, woman crush, and then the Versa segment. Keep it locked, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> Do you know you ain't a chore? 
Why? Why? I know you very well. Okay, do you think you should leave Man City? Uh, I think you should leave Man City because right now uh, he's not having enough playing time. And now Man City, they are trying to get Alexis Sanchez, which will, which will, will not even allow him to even have any chance to even play for the club very well. So I feel that let him go to somewhere like West Ham, show his true self, then he can get a bigger offer in another club whereby he will be able to play regularly. You understand? So let him go to West Ham. Oh, I think West Ham is the club that is going for him right now. So he can go there, show himself, then bigger clubs can come calling for him because the guy has the talent to, to become like one of the best strikers in the world. Okay, which club would you recommend for him now? At least Leicester City is okay. Or any of the, this team that would rather go relegation or win the league. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. many. And it picked you out of the number of people yeah. that you I just, follow. I, I don't follow the video now, like four years now. Wow, that's great, that's great. That's and it followed back on March 19. That was the day. That was the day. You will know that. Hey, ah. brother. Even on a big name now. I understand. Even me saying you follow me, Not I go right now the date. <laughs> March 19. The day I won. The day I, I want. I. Yeah, I can remember that day now. I was going to. That was the day I dropped my video, I guess. Oh. So yeah. that's probably really, really bad. That was the day I dropped my. Like, okay, three days after I dropped my video. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah what, do, what, do you, what do you think about Techno's music? Just in a yeah, Techno is doing like he's doing well, and I would love to work with him too. His beat, his to sound, work with trust me. and he's doing good music. Mm -hmm. He has his own sound, his yeah. style of music. Mm -hmm. Baby, Pana. What do you think about Hush Puppy? I just need to keep that up. Hush Puppy, now my brother, now my boss. Mm -hmm. So I don't think anything about him. What he do you think about his dressing? He's living his life, man. <laughs> living his life. Yeah. I like you. Just choose the life he's living. Mm -hmm. Guys, so definitely Junior Boy has you know said much more and much more and much more. Apparently, we can't talk for two hours today, but I'm sure so. We'll have him here again, you know, when that big jam drops. Yeah, yeah man, coming up next, man. Big jam, mm -hmm. big jam. Are you, are you featuring anybody? No, I'm coming out alone this time. Around. Start nowhere. Was, was I want to prove you guys wrong. Ah, I have seen Jan. I don't know that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on both yes, now. so. <laughs> so Jimmy, thank you so much yeah, for coming. For we really me. appreciate, appreciate it. it. There are some more cookies for you. Don't worry. No we time. answer you. We get it. No All right, guys. So definitely, I hope you enjoyed the conversation with Junior Boy. We'll definitely bring another person on this set again sometime, someday, somehow. And um, definitely, Junior Boy. Thank you so much. But right now, it's time for you to leave our set. But we'll humbly tell you to leave it. We won't kick you out because we love you so much. Right. So guys, keep it locked. We'll be right back. definitely talking about the struggles that entertainers of coming out to his face in the Nigerian music scene and entertainment scene. Junior Boy has definitely dissected it right on this set. The Irakwada Kuna, the Moyo Moyo Kuna, by the way. But guys, it was definitely a very interesting conversation with him. He is deep, he is real, and he defecated in the bush. That's what cracks me up till now. But whatever it is, guys, it's besides that. It's besides that. But what he has said that he should hold on to as an upcoming artist. Those are the three things. Talent, God, and definitely, what else did he do? Oh, no. I can't remember, but guys, you know, you watch the clip and money. Yes, you gotta have money. If you don't have money, you will not say it. You gotta look for the money. God will provide the money for you guys. But definitely, that's all we have for you today. Go on to our website, www.delirylife.com. Hit us up on YouTube at Delivery Life. Official, at Del official, <laughs> stop by laughing beside me, but you know, it's okay. And official Delivery Life on Instagram and at Delivery Life on Facebook and Twitter. Follow me up at Anifel Balogo on Instagram and Facebook. Definitely at Anifel Balogo 11 on Twitter. So we see you again on the call. Remember, leave love and be happy always. Bye for now, guys. Mwah.